So the, using the integrating factor method, basically we're looking at a uh, first order linear differential equation. And here P and Q are arbitrary functions of X. And the integrating factor method in, uh, in the previous video, you've seen the derivation of it. So from this, what we can do is the integrating factor essentially is something which, is, which we'll call say IF. And the integrating factor is in fact the exponential of the integral of P uh, dx. Okay, and that gives us our integrating factor. And how it works is basically it takes the above equation and um, it converts it into the following. So if you multiply both sides, or let's call this one uh, of one by the integrating factor, we end up with y e this uh, d by dx. Okay, so d by dx of this is equal to q e integral p dx. Okay, so that's what happens. Now I'll just show you the, just for your satisfaction if you hear the product rule applies so let's just check it so product rule applies so what you get first is you'll get leave this and dy dx okay plus you'll get um, the in the derivative the derivative of epx y uh, the p will appear and e to the integral p dx, okay? And that's equal to q e integral p dx. So you can see that that is basically what happens when you multiply uh, equation one by both sides, um, e p dx. So here, if I take the e p dx common, I end up with dy dx plus p y equals q e pdx and clearly that and that will cancel and it'll give you the original equation back so that's how the integrating factor actually works now let's use it so if we compare this to our equation in this example dy dx plus 4y equals e3x we know this is a first order ordinary differential equation it is linear it is non-homogeneous and it's got constant coefficients now integrating factor only requires that it be a linear differential equation all right first order linear differential equation so here uh, we can clearly see that p okay in this case p would be 4 which means our integrating factor would be e to the integral 4 dx which means e to the 4x multiply both sides of the equation you don't have to do that the theory works so this means that the above differential equation this equation can be written as Okay, so what will happen is you, we'll end up with y e to the 4x equals e to the 3x multiplied by e to the 4x. Now that's going to give us, that means that y e to the 4x is equal to the integral of e to the 7x dx, which further means e to the 4x is equal to 1 7th e to the 7x plus a constant Okay, and that essentially means uh, this further implies that y is equal to 1 7th e to the 3x plus c e to the minus 4x. And that's the solution to this differential equation, right? So that's how we use the integrating uh, factor. Let's do a second example. So, so this is a nice example. Here, everything doesn't seem to be very obvious, but this is a linear first order differential equation. Now, um, uh, if you uh, initially, if we divide this equation by t, we end up with uh, the following. Okay, now, now as you can see this, we can use the integrating factor method. And here, this is your p. So what you end up with is your integrating factor is exponential 1 over t dt okay and that means e ln t which is just t itself so your integrating factor is t which means that t dx dt plus x equals t squared which implies that essentially what you have is x t okay d by dx is equal to t squared okay so that means that xt is equal to the integral of t squared 
dt. Sorry, this is not dx. Pardon me. Pardon me, pardon me, pardon me. This is 